And you might know him as a former pro football quarterback and a Super Bowl MVP. Well, now Kurt Warner is dipping his toes in the reality TV waters. He's imagine. the host of a new series called The Moment. I know I had a chance to talk to speak with uh, speak with the former MVP and talk about his own moment recently. Thanks for taking the time to join us. We appreciate it. I know you are a busy guy. In fact, are you busier now than you were when you when you were <laughs> trying to win Super Bowls? I, I think I may be a little bit busier, but it's on my own schedule now, so that makes it a little bit better. What what is the moment all about? And 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 I want you to explain why what the show is all about, not only for the people involved, but as it relates to your own personal story, because I think if there's any person who is really suited to be able to explain the power of, uh, of, of a chance like this, it's probably you. Well, uh, I think that's a huge reason why I'm involved, is that, that the premise of the show is giving people a second chance at their dreams. But uh, to go a little bit deeper is that all of us have a dream at some point in time in our life. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes when we're chasing that dream, life takes us down a different path. It forces us to, to take a step away from our dream, and uh, a lot of us don't get the opportunity to get back to it. And so, as host of this show, I get to step back into people's lives and present them with a second opportunity to chase that dream. If they choose to accept that, uh, that opportunity, we take them on a journey where we hook them up with a coach or a mentor. We take them through a bunch of training to get them up to speed. For at the end of the show, we have uh, a big time interview or audition waiting for them for their dream job. And so uh, it's a great opportunity for people to, to change their lives, to understand the possibilities of a second chance. And that's really where my story comes in. Having lived this, uh, you know, having had the dream to be a professional football player, find myself sitting on the bench in college, getting cut by my first NFL team, working in a grocery store, just doing everything that I possibly could to open up a door and create a second opportunity and, and a second opportunity that I got when I was 27 years old. I had people tell me along the way that it's never going to work out for you. Circumstances that said there's no chance this is going to happen. Yet I was able to get a second chance and with that I was able to turn it into a 12 year NFL career and uh, so I've lived that life. I understand the challenges, the obstacles, the frustration that goes into it. But I also understand the possibilities and the power of a second chance. So to be the host of this show and to be able to come full circle and offer other people that chance, uh, I couldn't be more excited to be a part of this project. It's a great, it's a great project and you know your story and you mentioned the grocery store thing, it has become so legendary and that's probably because it's true isn't it T tell me about a moment when you're working in that store and are you thinking you know what i'm not moving on with my life it's never going to happen <laughs> uh you know there, there weren't too many of those moments where i said I i'm moving on it's not going to happen there were definitely moments where i wondered if it was going to happen i mean i remember sitting in the the break room with some individuals from the grocery store and we were basically just kind of talking about you know where do you see yourself in five years what do you expect to be doing because most of us didn't uh, expect to have a career in, in the supermarket business and you know we'd go around the room and i remember telling people well in five years i'm going to be playing in the NFL and you know you could just you know see the eyes roll and, and see people laughing like dude you're, you're working in a grocery store you, you know you've already graduated college right. you understand that's not going to happen and so you know I remember a lot of those moments where you know people even people close to me were, were looking at me and saying don't you think it's time to get a real job don't you think it's time to give up on this dream but I'm a believer that if we're not doing what we love to do, if we're not living in our passions on a daily basis, then our life is never gonna be full. It's never gonna be fulfilled. We're never gonna be the person that God created us to be. And so uh, that's why to me this is so important, not just for the nine individuals that will be a part of season one, but more importantly for all those watching at home to inspire them and hopefully encourage them to, to truly chase after their passions. And Kirk, real quick before, before we let you go, give me one quick example from what we're gonna be seeing coming up you know, specifically something that really fired you up that's going to inspire the audience? So many different things. But the biggest thing is you're going to see in each episode people overcome obstacles that they didn't think that they could overcome. And that, to me, is what it's all about. Most of us, uh, we don't chase our dreams because we come to some obstacle, to some speed bump, 
and we just say to ourselves, there's no way we're ever going to be able to get over that. You're going to see that over and over again in this show. That's what I had to deal with in my life. And that to me is what's so inspiring to see somebody do something they never thought that they could do, which lets us know, why can't I be that person? Why can't I overcome something that's standing in my way to accomplish my dream as well? Kurt, thank you very much. And for the Buffalo Bills fans, which we have a lot of around here, <laughs> who never think they're going to get a great quarterback, I love the Kurt Warner story because you were never supposed, you know, people might not have heard you, and then you became one of the great players in the world. It can happen in Buffalo, you know. It could happen here, too. <laughs> There is no doubt that it could happen in Buffalo. <laughs> Kurt, great stuff. We're going to be watching. We appreciate your time, and, and thanks for sharing a few minutes with us this morning. Thanks a lot.